Welcome to my channel. On 7 March there was an update for the DJI Phantom 4 Pro and Pro Plus. In this movie I will show you live how to update the firmware of the quad and the remote controller and the Android screen from DJI without any problems this is the way how you do it okay firmware update for all the devices for the Phantom 4 Pro and Plus I have a Plus From start to finish we will, I will show this to you, there is a firmware update, I will check it, this is the DJI website and the firmware is from yesterday, it's for the remote controller and the Phantom 4 Pro Plus. How to update the Phantom 4 Pro remote controller firmware. Over this we talk later. We need the assistant, DJI assistant to update the quad. So you can download a zip or execute it and install it on your PC or laptop. That's the first thing we are going to do because we want to do it in the way that we don't have any problems later on. On the internet there are many many pilots with problems and I will show you how to do it without problems. Here we go. So you download the assistant by clicking zip or execute. It will come in your download folder. After that you have uh, a DJI assistant icon here on your uh, bureau black bureau how you call that in English and it looks like this you need to log in on your DJI account very important detail important you you need to place your quad on a place without magnetic interference around put the USB cable on the side of the quad after that you connect it to your PC when you when you start the Phantom 4 once more you directly get the connection This is our current firmware what's inside the quad now and this is the latest version from one day ago, official. It takes 15 minutes we have enough battery power be sure you have at least a half of 50% in your battery and now the quad will be accepting the firmware Uh, 
At first it's downloading from the DJI server. Transmitting Updating Seems to go faster than The last one The quad is behaving normal I think there's nothing changed as you can see I have the remote off just waiting for the firmware update from yesterday now it tells it requires approximately five minutes and there is no strange behavior of the quad we have 99 percent almost done the quad is now restarting Sorry, I cannot go further. The quad is restarted. One hundred percent update complete. So here we are done. Let's check it on the remote. We close the DJI assistant, and we need now the software. for the remote controller you can you can find here how to it's a PDF how to update uh, I try to bring it in the middle yeah. how to update the firmware of the remote controller you need an SD card, a micro SD card and in the root of the SD card you drop the latest firmware then you power on the remote controller system settings, system update click local update on the top right corner the latest firmware will show and on the micro SD card click update to start updating do not insert the micro SD card in the card reader and use the USB port. Okay, thank you very much, DJI. This is the firmware, it's also from yesterday. It's important that you update the quad first, otherwise, there are troubles. We download the zip file. It's still downloading, it tells me 45 seconds. This is my micro SD card, and this is the folder from the quad. But I will put the remote firmware on the root. How can you do it? You, are, you open the download folder, it's almost ready and just drag and drop into the root of the SD card 8 seconds here it is, it's done you need to unpack it before you can do
unpack the folder, it's a zip file. And here you have the new firmware from yesterday. It's needed on the remote control because when you update the quad you need also this firmware. You drag it on the SD card root in just 10 seconds and then we get here in the root of the SD card our new firmware. Here it is. Okay and then we close the SD card and when it's safe to get it out you get the SD card out of your laptop or PC. Okay now the SD card we put in the SD card reader over here just push it in like that and then we turn on the remote okay this system icon we will tap then we go let's make a little bit less light so it's easier for my Osmo to see everything I hope you can follow so we go to the system settings in settings we go to about device DJI is not telling us the right thing about device there is system updates and when there is system updates you get this window and you press hold on because we don't do not want an update from air we do we want the local update that is on the SD card and therefore you need to press these three points and then you can choose select local and now we have our SD card active we can push this install update you see here we have enough battery power we can do the update and now it's finally updating because DJI is not telling it's not in the system update it's first in the about device and then system update okay I'm not sure if this is really needed but I think it's better to activate the system because now when there is a reboot they will connect to each other it's rebooting now installing system update as I told you first the quad then the remote it will update the screen as well. In the future, DJI told me the updates for the screen are separate, but for now the screen can only update with the remote controller. While updating the screen is black now, I don't know why, but I think okay it's rebooting all right so it only takes a few minutes be sure you have enough battery power 50% is enough okay Note updated to version 1130, that's the firmware from yesterday, okay? I am connected with the Phantom 
version check device info collected and bam we are back with new firmware in the quad overall status latest firmware and new firmware in the remote controller let us check uh, about we have now the app 404 we have version 1030418 aircraft database 0014 app database flight controller and remote controller serial number it's not important but we are and that's that I'm very glad we have finally the new DJI Go 4 app and everything works fine I can sh show you this is normal behavior because the sensors are looking at my door but everything works now it's important after every update of the firmware it's very important that you do a calibration of the EMUs and of course on the fly spot the, the calibration of the compass both compasses it will be done in the same in the same way but the calibration of the EMUs the flight controllers you have to do on a really flat surface even when DJI now tells you in the app the emus are fine believe me do after every update the calibration okay that's it for now stay tuned for more thanks for watching